and welcome to the poor man's chemist. In this video I thought we would do something a little different from anything that we've done before. Um, it's an experiment that I've never done. What I have here is a gram of ruthenium metal. Um, it's in small little chunks and ruthenium will not dissolve in any kind of acid whatsoever according to the literature. However, it will dissolve in a mixture of molten potassium hydroxide and potassium nitrate. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these two in this crucible, add the ruthenium to it, and put it over the Bunsen burner, and get it going, and let it melt, and see what happens. Um, the only specific reference I've been able to find talks about doing this with powdered ruthenium, so I don't know if this is going to work with little chunks or not. Um, I honestly have no idea how this is going to go down. But there's only one way to find out, and that's what chemistry is all about. So, I'll go ahead and give this a shot. Something's happening. Oh, cool. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh my god, it's actually working. That is the shit. Oh my god, this is why I do this, right here. There is nothing like getting high on discovery. Oh, okay, it's splattering a little bit. I have no way of knowing when it's actually done. Well... Oh my god, it's so beautiful. This is part of the whole reason I went through all this trouble and all the expense of making my own lab was so that I could see stuff like this that I would never see in the course of my job. And the only way I'm going to see compounds like this is if I make them myself. Most chemists will go their whole careers, their whole lives, without ever seeing uh, just, just ordinary compounds like this. I mean, this is not some super complex compound. It's just a typical oxoanion like so many others, but of an element that you almost never see outside of certain specialized labs. Yeah, the hell with that. I want to see all of it. Alright. Oh, wow. So I want 
want to keep the amount of water to a minimum as I can. All right, so here is our solution of potassium ruthenate um, along with any unreacted potassium nitrate and potassium hydroxide. Happily, those are both highly soluble in water, so we should be able to selectively crystallize out the potassium ruthenate. Um, what I'm going to do now is just very gently and slowly reduce the volume of this solution. Um, by just stirring it over gentle heat and really hope that works and um, then after I've been able to get the volume down a little bit go ahead and put it on ice and see if I can't get it to crystallize so we will come back once we've made some progress with that All right, so after spending all night in the desiccator, this is what I've been left with the next day. So what you can see on the right here are the two vials of the filtrate that I got um, from the crystallization and from um, the wash of the crystals, which was not very much. I tried to keep it to the bare minimum. Um, I'm actually surprised that it didn't more didn't dissolve than than actually did. Um, it could definitely stand to be recrystallized, but um, I mean, what we've got right here, this is it, man. I mean, this is potassium ruthenate. This is freaking awesome. I did not expect that to work so well. So that is fantastic. Um, I thought I would also show you this is the filter paper from where I filtered it yesterday and um, obviously I'm saving it um, re keeping everything here from any of the platinum group metals um, so that they can all be recycled later because this is not the end of my work with ruthenium or with any of the rest of them so anyway this is just so cool I mean from reading some stuff on a website to uh, putting it together and having it work that is just so freaking awesome so anyway there you have it synthesis of potassium ruthenate from ruthenium metal <laughs>